Hello and welcome to this series of reflections on Today Christ is Born, Praying with the Icon of the Holy Nativity. I want now you to turn your attention to the center of the icon. We see there the cave, the manger, the Virgin Mary, the cow and the donkey. Each one of these images draws our attention. But perhaps the first thing we notice is not the child or the virgin or the animals, but the blackness of the cave. Earlier, I told you that color in icons is significant. Red and blue, for instance, are the colors of earth and heaven. Gold and white, the colors of glory. And black is the color of chaos, sin, and death. Gaze for a few moments at the blackness of the cave and cast your mind back to Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. The earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. As you gaze at the blackness of the cave, then cast your mind forward to the beginning of John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. These past months have been a dark time for many of us. We have experienced grief, loss, sorrow, sadness, confusion. It's been a dark time for ourselves and for the world. But the promise of God particularly the promise of God in Jesus Christ, is that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. And so (coughs) there, in the midst of the darkness of the cave, lies the one who is the light of the world. And piercing the darkness, like a laser beam from heaven, is the star, piercing the darkness. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. As you gaze at this part of the icon, you may want to get in touch with what has been dark in your life in these last few months. What has been dark in your life?
Now ask the light of the world and the one who is the light of the world to shine in the darkened corners of your life. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. Allow the light of God to shine in the darkness of your life as you gaze into the darkness of the cave. We see to Mary in the center of the icon, lying as she does near the infant. And she seems to be doing something with her hands. Hands are important to pay attention to in an icon because hands do all sorts of things. Hands bless. Hands teach, hands point, hands beckon. In some icons, particularly icons of Jesus, you'll see hands blessing. In other icons, particularly icons of Jesus, you'll see hands teaching. In other icons, particularly icons of the Virgin Mary, you'll see hands pointing. And in some icons, again particularly of the Virgin Mary, you'll see icons beckoning, you'll see hands beckoning. In this icon, Mary seems to be saying a number of things with her hands. She seems to be saying, come a little closer, come a little closer, come here and look at my son. What might Mary be beckoning you to behold? What is Mary inviting you to look at? Indeed, what is Mary inviting you to hold? Is she calling you closer? Is she calling you closer so that she can whisper something into your ear? What is Mary saying to you? What is she inviting you to? To see, to behold, to hold? to hear. You may want to spend some time simply gazing at Mary and ask yourself, ask her, what is she trying to tell you about her son? What is she trying to tell you about her son? So as you gaze at this part of the icon, gaze at the darkness and reflect on the darkness of the world and the darkness of your own life. But remember that even in the darkness, the piercing light of God's love and life and light is eternally present. And allow your eyes to see in the dark. See how even in the dark, God's light and life and love pierces the darkness of the night. And the darkness could not overcome it. Give thanks for the light of God, which pierces the darkness of the night. Give thanks for the ways in which God's light and life and love pierce the darkness of your own life. Give thanks for the light of God. 
Spend some time also gazing at Mary. And in your prayer, ask her what she wants to tell you, show you, beckon you about her son. And last but not least, gaze at the cow and the donkey. For all creation kneels and worships at the manger. So with them, kneel before the manger and worship the holy child of God. The Coming by R. S. Thomas And God held in his hand a small globe. Look, he said. The sun looked. Far off, as through water, he saw a scorched land of fierce color. The light burned. There, crusted buildings cast their shadows. A bright serpent, a river, uncoiled itself, radiant with slime. On a bare hill, a bare tree saddened the sky. Many people held out their thin arms to it, as though waiting for a vanished April to return to its crossed boughs. The sun watched them. Let me go there, he said. As you gaze at the center of this icon, contemplating the darkness of the the world, the darkness of your life, remember that the light of God pierces even the darkness and shines upon you. So take a few moments, light your candle, pay attention to your breathing, sing softly to yourself, and expect a miracle as you gaze at the light of God in the Holy Child of Bethlehem.
and now gathering all our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior Christ taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 